Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today, we're going to be taking an ASA Firepower Threat Defense and converting it to ASA code. Let's go! Alright, we're back and we're going to be converting the ASA Firepower Threat Defense Code to ASA code. The first thing we need to do is grab the ASA and get started. Alright, so we're going to wait until the ASA boots up and as, as it's booting up, I'm going to hit escape and it's going to drop me into Raman. Once in Raman, I'm going to erase the disk zero so we have plenty of room to get our image on it. And then I'm going to load in the configuration so it can copy the new image over the network to the ASA appliance. So once it starts booting up here, uh, we will get out of the boot mode and get going. So here we go, we'll hit escape. And then I'm going to go ahead and load the configuration here and I'm going to validate it by typing set and it's going to show me all the IP configuration here down below, um, the IP of my server, the image file that I'm going to be getting, the IP address that I'm setting on the ASA, and uh, we're good to go. So once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and type sync, which is going to load this configuration into the ASA. And then the next thing I'm going to do before I actually erase the disk is I'm just going to make sure I can ping 92.168.1.10, which is the server. I just want to make sure I can reach it. And I can, so that's good. Um, I just want to do that before I erase the flash because once that's taken place, there'll be nothing on this device to boot from. And so this is kind of the point of no return. If uh, you don't have this set up, uh, where you can't reach your server, you don't have a TFTP server, you'll just want to wait until you get that all set before you actually erase the images on the ASA in case you need to boot it up into the old code. So I'm going to go ahead and type erase disk zero. And it's going to erase the disk. So once this disk erase completes, I'm going to type TFTP download and get the image. So now the disk has been erased, and so now I'm going to start the TFTP download process. So I'm going to just type TFTP DNLD, and that is going to initiate the download. And so once I hit that, it's going to start downloading the image right now. All right, so we've got the ASA image copied. It's booted up. One thing you'll notice as I hit enter, it's going to take me into the default login prompt. I'm going to hit enable or type enable, and then it's going to ask me to enter a password. I'm just going to enter Cisco as the password. And then now what I'm going to do is in order to get the new image on the device, because right now, the ASA has booted from the TFTP download of the image, but it hasn't loaded it into Flash. So if I type DIR, it's gonna show a list of the files on here which there's no image on it. And in order to copy an image to it, I need to format it in the format that the ASA can actually understand it. It's a different file format. So I'm gonna type format disk zero, and once that's complete, now this device is ready to receive the ASA image on it uh, onto Flash. So in order to do that, I need to configure uh, Ethernet port. I'm not going to use the management port. I'm going to move over to Ethernet 1.1. And in order, I'm going to go in and configure that by going into interface gigabit Ethernet 1.1. I'm going to assign it a name of inside, which is going to default the security level to 100 which means it has the full permissions to send and receive, that kind of thing, because it assumes it is the inside interface of the network and not the outside. Um, I'm going to assign it an IP address of 192.168.1.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. I'm going to no-shut it. I'm going to exit the config, and I'm going to save it. So now that that's done, I'm going to ping the TFTP server to make sure I've set it up right and we've got connectivity. So I'm going to do that, and I can reach the server. 
So now I'm going to copy the TFTP file to Flash. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and type in 192, 192.168.1.10 because that's the IP of my server here. 1.10. And it's going to ask me for the file name. I'm going to put that in. And the destination, which is going to be the same. And it's going to start copying the image. So now this time that it's copying the image, it's copying it from my laptop to the flash on the ASA. And after this step, we'll be able to save the configuration and boot. Now, in addition to the firmware on the ASA, you can load the ASDM, uh, which is the web user interface so that you can web browse to the ASA. You can load in also the AnyConnect images as well. So if you wanted to be able to have a client HTTPS to the outside of the firewall, and when they log in, it would actually send them the AnyConnect images that you may need. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this video, but those are all things that you can do in addition to what we're doing here. All right, so the copy is completed, and you can see it was successful. And if I type DIR now, we see that the ASA image is loaded. I'm going to write the configuration, and we are going to reload the ASA. So that is it. That's all you need to do to upgrade the ASA from, or at least just migrate the image from Firepower Threat Defense to ASA code. Some of the things that you wanna make sure you do ahead of time. You wanna make sure that your licenses, that if you have a Firepower Threat Defense license, that you can actually go to Cisco's site and you can get an ASA license. Uh, because when you load this new image, it's not gonna have any of the licenses that you had on your Firepower Threat Defense. So things like VPN, triple des, that's not gonna work out of the box without a license. So make sure you at least have a path to get a license or that you have a, a plan or you can get the license ahead of time before you do the upgrade because if this is in production and you're taken out of production to migrate uh, to ASA code and then bring it back online, you're gonna have problems if you have VPN and other things going through this box and you don't have a license. So, hope I covered that. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.